Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Marco D'Angelo and Tony Finn from wagertalk.com. And we're talking Monday night football action here on ESPN, like always. Minnesota at Seattle. We're seeing the Seahawks minus three in the Pacific Northwest, 49 being the prevailing total as we're speaking. Uh, Marco, come to you first. Seattle minus three at home. Is that enticing for you? No, it's not. And full disclosure, I stepped in front of Seattle last week with Philadelphia, and that didn't work out well. But the numbers just – the stock is high on Seattle right now. Mm -hmm. The eye test people saw the last couple games. They saw that epic Monday night game against the 49ers, which could have went either way. Uh, both teams moved the football well in that game. Some turnovers by both teams, and it ended up going to overtime. Teams missing ex or field goals in overtime, and then Seattle outlasted them. But I'm looking at a team defensively, Seattle ranks 22nd. Uh, they're giving up 6.0 yards per play. We're looking at a Minnesota team that has a very good defense. We know Kurt Cousins, the knock on him is he can't win the big games, but he finally broke through that. He had that Sunday night win at Dallas, um, primetime game, got the win. Yeah, on the road. So, you know, I'm looking at them. They're coming off the bye week. They've had an extra week to prepare, and this offense has been clicking. You know, whether you like Kirk Cousins or not, they've scored 27 or more points yeah. in five of their last six games, and the key to this offense is if they can run the football. When they run the football, obviously, and I've said it, you know, a gazillion times, you have a good running game, you're going to make an average quarterback a good quarterback. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make a good quarterback a great quarterback. 100% agree. And they're doing it, you know, with Cook in the backfield. I think they're able to pound the ball with Seattle in this game. Seattle last week, uh, they won. They dominated Philadelphia. But they only scored 17 points in that game. And seven of them were because of the defense. And Philadelphia's banged up themselves. They, Philadelphia, it was a nightmare. I mean, yeah. Carson Wentz had no chance to throw the football last week. The offensive line is in shambles right now. So I'm not that impressed. They're coming back home. I know this is one of the tougher venues, the 12th man there at Seattle. But I like, I like Minnesota plus the points here. You give me the better defense getting points, that's a formula that I'm always going to sign up for. Absolutely. Marco, Tony, what are you thinking? I would be, uh, I agree with Mark on a lot of points there. And I would also say that if you're going to use last week's Seattle Philadelphia game as a gauge of who Seattle is or who, Phil, uh, you're making a mistake. Philly was damaged goods, had no receivers. Uh, their leading receiver for a while I thought was going to be the, the kid they called off of the practice squad. That's how damaged they are. So don't, uh, Seattle was, wasn't very good last weekend and they found a way to win. I think they've improved defensively. Um, but here's the deal. We, we talk about uh, the Rams, for instance. I think, I think the problem with the Rams is that is, is Gurley, is that without play action pass, mm -hmm. even golf cannot be successful. He's also got some damage receivers. This game, I, 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 agree, with Mar I agree with Marco, and that is that uh, unless Clowney is absolutely healthy and 100% and Seattle's able to pressure, to pressure Cousins, and stop the run, then Minnesota's a handful coming off, an, coming off a bye, and Seattle's had two really emotional wins in a row. This, despite the fact of what they did last weekend in Philly, that's a big win. When you go in conference, on the road, and you win, and you stay pace with the team that's first place in your division, um, I, see, I, I see it's a tough spot for Seattle. I see a letdown, and Minnesota plus the three is pretty enticing. Good stuff, Tony. And, and Marco, coming back to you, man, coming into this, I was thinking Seattle or pass. <laughs> Listening to you, I'm starting to think uh, the Vikings, better defense in the points. I love that philosophy. Wait, it, we got some time here before the Monday nighter. Obviously, it's the Monday night football game, a lot of tickets written. When do you think the time to kind of buy on Minnesota will be? I don't think this gets to two and a half because you are sitting at that solid three right now because there's too much love for Seattle right now and okay. the public doesn't. They're not a fan of Kirk Cousins, where Russell Wilson and, you know, why not? He's, he's everything. They're going to go there. But if it goes to three and a half, you're gonna, it's going to be one of those ones where we're playing ping pong. It will come back. It'll, it'll come back to three because the Sharps are going to grab it. Anytime it gets to three and a half, the Sharps are going to be knocking each other over trying to grab that hook. Great stuff. Follow him on Twitter at Marco in Vegas and also Tony on Twitter at Tony at Wager Talk. Guys, next week is Thanksgiving week. And as our way of saying thank you, all plays will be priced at just $9. 
each from Thursday, Thanksgiving Day through Monday, December 2nd at both wagertalk.com and sportsmemo.com.